Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Where we last left off, we had no missions from the BDU, and we're basically making a uh, short work of whatever freighter or freighters we've come across uh, up basically around here. Now, there are uh, there was a lot of talk going on about that um, one Icelandic ship that I sunk, and I just want to just want to show why that's OK, because there was a lot of talk about whether they were on our side or whether they were neutral or what have you. It's pretty simple. One, take a look at the colors of the countries. All right. So Ireland, Spain, Portugal, Sweden, Finland, Romania, Yugoslavia, you know, Turkey. Arabia, what have you, these are the neutral countries. So even America, Mexico, stuff like that. These guys are neutral. So they're basically don't hit them because they could be friends. Gray is Axis. So that's a definite don't hit them, except for Japan. Strangely, if we made it around the world, might be able to sink some Japanese um, ships. So that's a bit odd, but I'm not going to really question it because it certainly looks like Japan is light gray as opposed to everyone else who's gray gray. You can see the Soviet Union is still neutral. And then we got the red. So we've got Great Britain and Northern Ireland. We've got Canada. We've got all the African uh, colonies. We got India. We got Australia. We don't have New Zealand, though. New Zealand is apparently neutral. So that's interesting. Anyway, Iceland is also red and red means dead um you can see their port is definitely not a port we want to go to Reykjavik is off the map for travel of course so is uh Ivitut there apologies if i mispronounce that in greenland anyway enough rambling about that basically iceland is an a is um is an enemy so i have no guilt i mean other than the guilt of killing a bunch of innocent people but no real guilt about sinking that ship because uh, we're still doing okay on fuel and we haven't really used up that many torpedoes. We fired one, two, two torpedoes. So, so yeah, I'm not concerned about sinking Icelandic ships. Besides, as was pointed out, their industry is mostly the fishing industry. So one, they've got a lot of ships and two, chances are they were carrying fish, which means... You know, that's another freighter full of fish that's not going to make it to Great Britain. I'm okay with that. Cutting down on that fish and chip industry. Uh, so the plan, basically, is to keep hunting until we get a new objective or a new mission to do. Um, I'm thinking what I might do is uh, just hunt around here a bit more, head back to Bergen, resupply, and then head back out over yonder this way just to see if we can't pick off any more convoys and really earn ourselves some uh, much needed renown. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to crank up the time acceleration. First, I'm gonna get rid of these things. It's rather annoying that they continually pop up. Played this game enough, I know how to move around. Anyway, I will be back when I've got something exciting to share with you guys. See you in a bit. All right, our first catch of the day. We've got two unescorted freighters now. Usually, we'd pop up with the deck gun and, and take some shots that way, but we have been using the deck gun a lot. I'm not sure what our ammunition is on it. And short of climbing into the deck gun, there's really no way to tell. So, we're kind of stuck doing it the old-fashioned way here. Now, I'm hoping that the, um, the ships here will just happily come by. That might be a bit too close. Let's just go like that. So these ships are just going to happily come by. And in fact, we could get our tool out. And put a mark there. Not sure if this is actually the best way to plot a ship's course. But uh, as long as we go through that mark, it should be summit like that. So actually, we probably want to be about there. That's my guess. From doing just a li little bit of rough math work. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop down our periscope. So them freighters can't see us. And already I can tell that my oh, course stop. predictions were indeed a little bit off. That's okay. We got the hydrophone still picking these guys up. That's really all that matters. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's pop this back up. 
let's see what kind of shots we've got on these guys. All right. Let's take a look. How quick are these suckers even going? They're going 11 knots. So, you know, they're going relatively quickly. Um, and that's going to be the one that hits first. So ideally, what I want to do, to get the timing right, I want to get the quick shot off on this guy. Or the shot that's going to be traveling faster because he's going to be longer away. And then theoretically, I can get another shot on the other freighter as he comes by. So now that this guy's getting close, we'll go ahead and attempt to get this shot lined up. Somewhere's about there, I'm going to say. And then these are banking hard enough off the submarine that I should be able to swivel around, slow the torpedo down, and get a shot off on the front ship relatively easy. So one can hope that that happens. Come along now. And in three... Oh. Let's warm up that warhead, launch it, reacquire this guy, swap over to tube one. And now we can get a shot off on speed two here. And I haven't been back to port, but I certainly don't see an option to um, set these things as a torpedo mine, like my torpedo officer was talking about. I would imagine that I'd have to return to port and let the guys at Lorient do some uh, tricky little, you know, torpedo altering. Warm up that payload, and let's get that shot off, and let's just see... This is looking pretty good, but um, I still think this one's going to hit first, and by, yeah, let's pop out and see if we can't see Top that. Impact. Beautiful. Right on the nose of the ship, let's go check out the damage. That's a big hole right up front. That means they're going to be taken on water while they move. I like it. This guy's definitely aware now that there's a submarine in the water, though, and I think he's already starting to take evasive action. However, if we take a look at the path of our torpedo, probably won't be enough to do anything, will it? Oh, that tricky devil. Best laid plans fell apart there. Okay, not a problem. We should have plenty of battery power here, and we do. So let's kick this sucker up to speed three. Oh, speed ahead. And if I could have my mini-map back, that'd be just tickety-boo. Let's load up tube three. And with us steaming in for them, we can basically, uh, we'll warm it up. And Two, three, get that shot off. Now let's take a look. That guy is on fire. Good. Ships on fire is a good thing. Now that is looking more and more like a good shot. So let's go investigate, shall we? Where you at, torpedo? Torpedo impact. Beautiful. However, it doesn't really look like that did much in the way of damage. Oh no, there's there's definitely a hole there. But that could have been a better shot. There's no question about it. I'm not exactly pleased with it. We've got the torpedoes to spare. Torpedo depth set to three meters. And that's just going a bit too quick. And this should be, I wish that didn't move around like that. 
Make sure to warm up that warhead. And... Oh, crap. Okay. Maybe if we cut our engines. And maneuver that more. Now, so what it looks like, it looks like he's turning towards me to make this shot far more difficult than it needs to be. Half speed ahead. Bastard. Well, that's fine. We'll just speed up and get to you. I'm not worried about that guy. That guy is probably going to be slow. But I'm also fairly confident that the hole we uh, put in this ship here, it's not going to be anywhere near... Do we want two? Or maybe... Maybe we do want a two. Of course, it would help, I guess, if we sort of changed our direction New a bit like point. that. Course, 20, well, maybe seven, even more like that. Course. This down. Nope. I know that torpedo missed. Still, though, two out of three shots hitting. That's not bad. Two, two, ready. As the wise recording artist Meatloaf once said, two out of three ain't bad. looking like our best bet if we just stop our engines make sure that torpedo in tube 4 is nice and warm well, this guy is taking some interesting course corrections here yeah very interesting course correction. So what if we drop that down? Well, no, because that's going to really limit us. So we've got to go here. But he's going to be going crazy balls, which is making me think maybe two is the best way to do this. All right. Full speed, ahead. Full speed. Get those batteries really churning out the power. We've only used 4% so far. Please don't close. Probably coming close to the end of our little maneuver. Get ourselves pulled around a bit more. What if we drop the speed down? It's still, I'm still not comfortable with that, trying to line that up. And yes, I'm well aware there's other ways to do this, but this is the way I do it, so such is life. But he's gone. So that guy is just. I don't even know what he's doing. It looks like he's just spinning circles. I'm not sure if that's an actual maneuver taught in the Royal Navy or not. When facing submarines, just spin. Seems like an interesting. Uh... No, geez, no, keep going. Just catch him, just catch him, just freaking catch him! We're going 10 knots, how fast is he going? Seven! This shouldn't be this difficult. And... Los. 
There we go. There goes our torpedo. It should be making a bit of a course correction. As is that freaking freighter. All right. I see the game you want to play. Fine. You want to do this like a knife fight? Get nice and close? We can do this like a knife fight. Maybe. Because I imagine you're going 11 knots now. No, you're still just going 7. So we should be able to catch you here. Make sure to warm this up. And wait for it, wait for it. Please tell me you're going to hit. Yes, you is. Torpedo impact. All right, so that's two holes in that ship. It can't be going much further. Surface the boat. Time to hit the surface and finish them off with the guns. Provided we've got enough ammunition in those guns, come to think of it. Pop up. Come on. There we go. Excuse me, sir. Gentlemen, how's it going? How's our gun doing? 91 shells? Yeah, that's enough. All right. Let's cut our speed down. And then just start raking the water line as best we can with armor-piercing shells because that is all we have. Nope. Can't fire while we're covered by a wave. We can even go a bit lower. Try to punch some holes in the engines. Beautiful. How's how's the other ship looking? Probably check on that. Oh my god, this takes forever to turn. And I guess if he's behind our conning tower, we're not going to be able to get much of a shot. Yeah, we're not taking that shot. That seems suicidal. Still have 80 rounds, though, and... That guy appears to still be swimming. So we'll put about five more rounds into this ship. I'd like to make the aft end as heavy as I possibly can. Let's just get it right down. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go take a look at the damage we've caused to this freighter. Shall we? There should be quite a few little holes here. I mean, there isn't any. Well, we got one there and, you know, a few little puncture marks along the water line. It looks like really only two, maybe three, because that'll be filling up with water with the waves. But um, considering the amount of shots that I put into this, I was hoping for more. These things are obviously armored fairly well. We can see, though, it's already starting to list to the side with the two torpedo holes. So that's good. I mean, obviously, it's going to be filling up with water more on this side than than the other side. So, you know, that's fine. And now let's go just take a look, see what the status is on this guy. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, if they're going to be shooting, 
Oops, we're going to want to get just a little bit of a reposition on this guy. Come on, there we go. And I'd rather reposition myself underwater, let's be honest, if they're going to be shooting at me. We can get under. Recharging batteries. Okay, there's fine. Don't don't worry about the last of that. Okay, how's our damage doing? Because I did hear we took a little bit of damage. Our hull integrity is still sitting at 100%, and... Yeah, I mean, everything's sitting at 100%. So, that's good. I will check, because we should have a fair complement of torpedoes up. We might be able to get another shot into this guy. Oh, hello, Archie Close. I mean, I think, I think it would be silly to not attempt a shot with the torpedo launcher here. Yeah, I see that you're freaking out a bit, but I wouldn't freak out, Periscope. Don't worry. This is going to be a fairly easy shot. Theoretically, anyway. Um... This might not be as easy as I initially assured myself it would be. It is kind of an odd angle. But we should be able to do this. It's just a matter of being patient. Waiting for the right opportunity. I mean, that is pretty close. So if we cheat it just a little bit. I mean, how could that miss? It's so close. How could it miss? Huh. It can't. See? There you go. I've learned something today. Get as close as possible. Then they can't miss. Looks like the other guy's definitely going under, although I was hoping it would be more aft first. Considering all the ammunition I basically wasted on that thing. But, um, hey, she's definitely, oh, and the sun is right. Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Get over there, aw, oh, yeah, let's get under. And then up, it's pretty shallow here. But that still looks pretty neat. Definitely, definitely going down. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. I mean, this guy, he's hes sinking too. So that's two more freighters. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, that's good. That's good. That's really good. We got three left. We haven't fired a single one out of our rear torpedo tube, so there's really no point in pulling any of our reserves off. We can get rid of these markings that um, quite obviously didn't help me. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Because we we got pretty successful here. Yeah, we sure did. So I guess this guy has holes on either side of him. Pretty much in the same location? Question mark? No, 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 no. This is the one I hit. Right on the nose. And you can see through to the other hole that we punched. I mean, obviously that's because the interiors of the ship aren't really done. And that's still pretty cool. When you can uh, line it up and just... Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Get a, get a good handle of our... Or get a good sense of our handiwork. Definitely poking holes in this ship. That is a good thing. All right. Let's get out of the cheaty view and let's drop down our periscope. We should be safe to surface as well. So let's get up there. Let's check our supplies. Fuel supplies sitting pretty low and we do only have three torpedoes. So I'm thinking our next course of action here. Whoa, it's going to be a bit tricky. Um, I mean, I guess, 
you know, getting to, to Brest or um, Lorient, it's basically the same. Let's see. As the crow flies, that's about what? 1,500 kilometers? That's far less. So it makes sense to head back to where we should be going. I'm okay with that. We can end, we can end our patrol, let some time pass, see if any new missions pop up. And, uh, well, I could go through this way. Hmm. I do have three forward-facing torpedo tubes. I definitely could go through that way. Instead of going around, well, I mean, really. Hmm. This is a conundrum. Not really a riddle, just a conundrum. I'd like to go through in case there are any more ships I can poke holes through, but with only three torpedoes. It's not like I can take on freighter, or <laughs> I can take on a freighter with three torpedoes. It's not like I can take on any convoys or anything like that. Mm. So it might just New be best Course, one, six, six. to go around Return the long way of Ireland Course, one, and head back to L'Oreal. I think that's what we're going to do. New waypoint. Course, 53. I'm not... Please, about returning to Lorient either. I hope I don't hit any sandbars. Um, just because I hate leaving that harbor. I would gladly go back to Willemshaven if it meant never having to navigate freaking Lorient Harbor ever again. Because it's frustrating. Anyway... Well, the Defiance takes off and heads for home. We'll finish up watching this guy sink, mainly because we've got a chance to do some beautiful artwork here. Tube four, ready. Thank you, Dieter. This thing is certainly taking its time, though. What way is it leaning towards? Or is it even leaning now? That would be a good question. Let's see, it's definitely leaning forward. Which makes sense with the big hole in the middle there, or up front. But I would expect it to start leaning. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just see what it does. It's just going to slowly bring itself under. Nose first. Yeah. Pretty standard sinking. Cargo's coming out of the hold, and now it's definitely going under. Fare thee well, freighter of England. Fare thee well. Now let's get down. It's tough, though, to get the nice shots because it's so shallow, so you can't really go that deep. You don't really get a good appreciation for the beauty that this thing is, that this thing can cause. So it's obviously nosed into an invisible rock, and it's still ass and out let that be a warning to all other freighters coming by although we know that the ground is just going to swallow it up and make it like it never existed which is fine by me so yeah there she goes and there we go leaving our area of operations heading back for home and there's the ship off in the distance sinking away job well done crew job well done all right guys i'm gonna be back when something exciting happens see you in a bit all right well that didn't take long and we've got ourselves a warship taking interest unsurprisingly of course there she is over yonder Dieter? okay we don't have anyone on the deck gun that's good i don't want anybody taking a pot shot at a destroyer that we don't have to let's see if it's even going to notice us And I'm not sure how it's not noticing us. But I'm okay with it. How fast are you going? You're going 10 knots? Not really on an intercept. And it doesn't really look like he's heading for those ships that sunk. So ships passing in the night, I guess. We'll just let him do his thing. He's going to let us do our thing. It's mutually beneficial. 
to both of us to not engage because quite frankly I'd sink him and um, he would cause me undue stress and cause a waste of ordnance really for one destroyer anyway that's enough of me rambling we'll be back when something more exciting happens than spotting an enemy destroyer all right so we made it we back to Lorient without too much of a concern it's, it's a nice looking port in nighttime actually it's fairly busy there's a lot of things going on here and uh it's, there's there's a nice little bit of nature going on too so let's just speed up to 32 which is the max we can do in Ship this sighted, view. bearing eight and we will go ahead and just end our patrol all stop all right back into the sub pen you Hakalai. My U-boat needs upgrades. Sure. Now, I don't what think do there's want? anything that we can actually upgrade to. Uh, obviously, the Flak 38 is better than the Flak 30, so joke's on you. And we still have our Tiger Stripes technically equipped and our Captain's Emblem, so that's sure good. Thing. We're just going to go ahead have in mind? and reload up all of our torpedoes. There we go. Wonderful. Sure. What do you want? Sure. What do you want? Thank you. Yes, Captain. You won't recognize your girl when I'm through with her. Doubtful. <laughs> You're just, you're loading torpedoes. And so, I mean, if you change, sir, if you change the look of my, if you change the look of my ship while loading torpedoes, so help me God, I will, I don't know what, probably pluck that mustache off your face or something. All right. It's bad enough. Sometimes I go out there and the tiger stripes are gone. I know who to blame. It's you. I don't know why you're doing it. What's up, Welcome Captain Dead Eyes? Congratulations, Captain. Thank you. I like being congratulated for the same thing over and over again. So it's still just this one mission, the Atlantic Air Gap, which is done. So unless I'm missing something, you know, something crazy, maybe out in the uh, the Indian Ocean, maybe in the Mediterranean. I think those missions come later. So, you know, that, I mean, I think the Mediterranean would be nice. That would be a nice place to go. Not very deep, but beautiful. And that's, that's kind of the thing. It would be a pretty place to go take a look at. Uh, as would... The Indian Ocean, mind you, although that is quite a long voyage. Why not use the Suez Canal? Well, because it's freaking British, guys. All right? We're not sailing through the Suez Canal, and we're not going to London. These are the rules. We want to live. We don't want to die. Anyway, that's enough of this. Why am I in that map view, huh? Let's start the new patrol. Yeah, I'm sure. I'd say the loss has reached an intolerable level. Just considering the casualty rate of U-boat crews. Like, you think Allied Bomber Command had bad casualty rates. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to knock Allied Bomber Command. They had atrocious casualty rates. Returning All to stops. course. Half speed ahead. All stop. But, We're uh, reaching course end. Would you like to plot a new course, course that, that, shall we? Six. Maybe a search pattern? I'd love to plot a new course. All right, but we're going to have to be careful here. Shut down diesel engines. New waypoint. One. Course 353. Three. Returning Off to speed course. Ahead. Minimum speed New ahead. waypoint. Course 27. I can probably safely pull that out and then just New cut it point. and course then we're out. 18. New waypoint. Course 66. Keep coming. New waypoint. Miss course any at all sandbars because those are annoying. All right, and then, oh, that's getting close to the shore. And then we can head out that way. Jeez, what the hell? Zero, zero. Ship sighted, bearing nine, one. I hate this harbor. Right, let's see, is there any new missions? No. Still the same. All right, so that's where we're going to head. New waypoint. Course one, what one, six. are we? What are we hitting? What did we hit? Submarine sighted. It's one of us. Honestly, Four, hate three. this port. All right, guys, slow and steady. We've scraped the paint enough for today. 
Do we at least have my tiger stripes? Oh, that rat bastard. You won't recognize your ship when I'm through with a... Yeah, obviously. If you freaking paint it when I don't want you to. Smoke on the horizon. All right, well, at least we got a full load of torpedoes. And we got a full load of gas. We got some promotion points to spend. So I don't I don't even know who's left for the passive... Sc sc uh, use your words. I don't know who's left for the passive skills here. I mean, we can do another level in there. And the cook's fully uploaded, uploaded, upgraded. I guess we could do our crush depth to go even deeper. We are in shallow waters, um, Captain. But we don't, we don't really need it. So we'll just go with the bosun. We'll get your last two skills, and then email. It's not that I am ignoring your skills. You do great work on the ship. Please understand this, but we don't really need to to go that deep. So. There we go. But, uh, I mean, check it out. Our crew is looking great. Is our efficiency any higher? It's still at 91. We'll get, we'll get higher one day. Three, four. All right. Now that we've avoided so the dangerous ahead. section of this harbor, we can push ourselves up to speed two and uh, hope that that's the last of the rubbing. Because damn, that's just, it's not enjoyable Ship sighted, bearing three, to two, shave six. freaking hull integrity off your ship just we by leaving shallow port. Waters, Captain. And this is the only port I've had that issue with, really. Any other port I've left, it's no problem. It's one of ours, I don't get it. Three, Sub pens are all two. the same, too, so who knows? Who knows where my incompetence level is sitting? Nope. Let's just open that up and let's just see if we can't put it right New on 210. Course, two, one, zero degrees. Yes. Uh, we may have been better on 209. Or 211, I guess. New course, two, one, one degrees. Just a little bit more. Just New a course, little bit more. Two, one, three degrees. Uh, Yeah, 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 I know I missed the boy. One day, one day we're gonna run those over. <laughs> one, run one of them over at least. See, and this guy, he's got a great little docking location. He just parks his U-boat just out in the harbor. It's, I guess we should be thankful for getting special treatment Half speed ahead. and getting a sub pen, but damn. Okay, yeah, let's, let's return to course. Returning to course. That seems like a good idea. Uh, all right. Well, we're headed for the North Atlantic. I'm going to be back when something exciting happens. All right, guys. Change of plans. As I was passing Brest, or basically just as I left Lorient, we got a couple of radio contacts. Uh, yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, yeah, so there were a couple of small convoys leaving this area. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go back into the channel. I know it's dangerous. But it's a heck of a lot closer to home. And it should be easier to chase down convoys in the narrow channel than it is out in the middle of the freaking Atlantic. Six. All so, final yeah, I think this is going to be the plan. We're just going to pull in a bit, get Cross kind of in line with 15, Plymouth here. Six. Hope we don't hit any mines. That would be freaking devastating. And returning to cars. What have we got? Radio contact of a small convoy headed in that direction, eh? I see. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. We can't just rely on radio Let's contacts. Go. They're too intermittent. Not that I'm doubting your abilities here, Wolfram. All right, but... How was your first visit to France? I have to admit the food was great and the landscape very pretty. <laughs> As were the gods. D did you have time to meet any? Yes, I did meet one. She was really beautiful, but unfortunately, she didn't speak German. I never learned her name. I don't even know how to look for her. Jawohl, Herr Kalon. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, I'm not going to lie, Wolfram. You're German. She's French. I mean, I know Dieter here married a French girl, but that was that was in peacetime. 
right now, don't try and pick up French women, all right? Just, just, yeah. All right, so it doesn't sound like anything's here, but we know that there's a uh, convoy headed into port, which makes things kind of tempting, doesn't it? Let's get back up to the surface and head on over yonder. All right, now here's going to be an interesting test. Do the airplanes shoot at us now? Come on, get up there. Dieter, my friend, man the flat cannons, yes, would you? Man the flat Thank you. Are you still just an observation hurricane? Aircraft spotted bearing five zero. They certainly don't look like they're turning for me. So we're just going to assume things are still good when it comes to aircraft. And hope that we don't get shot up. Even if we do, there are still just hurricanes, it looks like, if I can, you know, judge quickly from the outline of a fighter in the sky. Uh, so really, it's only going to be machine guns coming at us. It's not like Spitfires with the 20 millimeter cannons or um, swordfish. Yeah, the biplanes. Those are the swordfish. Or those guys with torpedoes. So, I mean, obviously these guys are coming back around. But uh, I think they're just flying a, a sort of patrol circle. I don't think they're going to be coming for us. We'll see if they change course. They don't. So, uh, we should be safe. Right, Dieter? Yeah. Should be just fine. So let's go ahead and crank up speed. All, stop. We're All right. Our final so, I mean, obviously, the freighter isn't over, or the freighter convoy is not over there. New depth. Four meters. That's not deep First enough. Depth. Come on. Down you go. There we go. And come on through. Drop on down. Shut down diesel engines. Let's Current see what we can hear in front of us. Zero meters. All right, that might be, man, that's freaking far out. I guess we're only scrolling 300 meters, so, um, yeah, that's probably that destroyer there. That sounds like that's about it. All right. So what we can do? Surface the boat. Let's go to a boat waypoint. there. We should three. be pretty safe. Four, two. All right. What do we got? A couple of warships, and I'm sure there's a convoy in that port somewhere. Nope. We can go ahead and get out of that view. And probably drop down would be a good idea at this point. Before we're spotted, we should have plenty of battery power. We do. That's good. And let's just see. So we got one there, and then another one there. All right. And we can see the port just off in the distance. With those two destroyers, we've got the making of a little bit of adventure here. But you know what? That's going to have to wait till the next episode. So, I know, I'm a horrible, horrible, mean person. Okay, let's get rid of that. We're approaching our final waypoint. And let's go ahead and save this game. Uh, we will call this Plymouth Hunting. Not the car, obviously, the port. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching.